The main aim of the programme is to produce well-qualified physics and chemistry teachers to be able to teach junior certificate science, leaving certificate physics, chemistry and then the subject of physics and chemistry as one. The programme obviously enough is about um, how to become a science teacher and teacher education but there you would cover a lot of physics and chemistry, biology, maths, IT, education and then pedagogy which is how to teach for your subject in the first year to two years of the program and it becomes much more specialised then in the second and third year looking much more closely at the physics and the chemistry side of things and with bringing in the maths a little bit as well. When you're training to become a science teacher I think it's important to be looking at what you're teaching and how you're going to be teaching it as you learn it and as you assimilate the knowledge yourself I think it can make far better teachers so I think that would be the key kind of facet to to this programme and also the teach length of the teaching practice that our students go out on. They go out on a six week teaching practice in second year and then a 12 week teaching practice in fourth years. I think the smaller numbers in the degree course is a very positive thing. It's better for the students, they're more of a niche. There's fewer physics and chemistry teachers than in the country and it's more of an elite, I think, kind of thing. In terms of career opportunities, absolutely buckets. Um, I did this programme myself and I think the reason I did it is because I was 16 doing my Leaving Cert and I hadn't a notion what I wanted to do. So I decided I'd do a science degree with teaching because I felt, oh, you can always teach nice hours if I ever wanted to do a postgrad afterwards. But in terms of teaching opportunities, there's absolutely loads. We have a lot of teachers teaching abroad in countries such as the UK, the United Arab Emirates, Africa and so on and so forth. So there's mega, mega opportunities there to teach abroad if you want. Also, you've got to remember that as well as having a teaching qualification coming out of this, you ultimately have a Bachelor of Science. And that's very, very important. If teaching isn't for you at the end of this, you have a very, very good science degree. And it's important to remember that you can go into industry and you can follow on from that with postgraduate opportunities and so on. So in terms of the areas, there's physics, obviously, chemistry science education, chemistry education, physics education, so there's a lot of different areas in which you can do postgraduate in. So if you are the type of student that's very very interested in the sciences in physics and in art and chemistry, I think this course would be absolutely excellent, particularly if you are a good science communicator and you want to be able to pass on the passion for the subjects to students.